that. In the meantime, there is a fresh development in a mystery almost 20 years old. In 1995, a passenger train derailed in the remote desert northwest of Phoenix. The train wreck killed an Amtrak employee and hurt more than 100 passengers. Someone had damaged the track and disabled safety systems that could have warned the engineer. Now, as KG9 Your Side's Craig Smith reports, the FBI is making a fresh push for a break in the case. The FBI says no case is too cold to pursue. The FBI in Phoenix is trying to turn up the heat on a notorious case that happened almost 20 years ago. It was 90 minutes past midnight when Amtrak Sunset Limited ran off the rails and off a bridge in remote desert southwest of Phoenix. Before someone loosened the rail, they bypassed an electrical system designed to warn when a rail is out of place. It is a surreal feeling to know that someone went out of their way to kill you. Neil Halford was on the train, but the car he was in stayed upright. When he stepped out into the desert, he found a note with a rock on it. Whoever wrote the note said it was from the sons of the Gestapo and that they sabotaged the rails. It's talking about the FBI and the CIA and all this other stuff, and I immediately realized what was going on. 19 years ago, extremist groups were promising revenge on the government for incidents like the siege of the Branch Davidian compound near Waco. But investigators who track extremists say they'd never heard of the sons of the Gestapo. Today, in an FBI news conference in Phoenix, the agency seemed to discount a terrorist connection, but did not offer another motive. What it did offer was a $310,000 reward. Investigation has revealed um, certain events, and we feel that there's individuals out there that know exactly what happened. Some theories suggest the train wreckers might have worked on the railroad because they knew how to bypass the safety system. Neil Halford would love to know who nearly killed him and love to know why. This is the largest unsolved, you know, federal crime uh, in the you know, case of domestic terrorism in the United States. With a case almost 20 years old, memories can fade and people who know key information could be about to die. But investigators hope anyone who knows anything helpful will realize it's not too late to do the right thing. In Phoenix, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.